Hello. Hello. Hey, mom. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. I just made it to Ecosur after hitchhiking all day, but I made it right for sundown, so I'm really glad. And uh, I was introduced to all the volunteers, people from all over the world. Uh, yeah, now we're, we're just gonna uh, go eat, uh, have dinner. And I'm just really excited to see what the work is all about tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep in touch, for sure. All right. Peace. The aim of the project is really wide and, uh, and deals with almost all the major issues, like uh, how to live with uh, ecological houses, how to have food, uh, um, good quality and natural food without destroying the environment, how to live together. Ecosur is a project to create a self-sustainable multicultural community uh, that we started about a year ago. And uh, the goal is to, to populate this area with people from all over the world. The reason we are here is because uh, Mendoza has been at the forefront of uh, an environmental struggle to, to preserve the Andes and the environment from a lot of mega mining corporations, usually from Canada and other first world countries, that do here what they cannot do at home, and using tons of glacier water from the mountains that desertifies the rivers that should be nurtured by that water. El mismo agua que después ustedes necesitan para, para consumir y para sus animales. Y que lo que va a quedar ahí va a quedar contaminado. People have a strong environmental awareness, especially when it comes to, to the water that they need for agriculture. And this water would be affected by the mining activities that we're going to start. Comprendimos el sentido de lo que teníamos que hacer. La importancia y la profundidad de esa lucha. Y a partir de ahí nuestra vida cambió. So in 2007, a huge struggle began that I think is unprecedented in terms of the size and the results because it was like a David and Goliath story. The people of Alviar were facing the national government, the province government and these multinational corporations. Eh, nosotros hacíamos eh, manifestaciones donde hablábamos, exponíamos nuestras dudas, nuestros temores, nuestros problemas. Siempre iban in creciendo, increciendo. Cien, 300, 500, 1000, y nos empezaron a escuchar en Mendoza, empezamos a hacer ruido. They are located strategically at, at the crossing of two major national roads. La gente quiere cortar la ruta, ¿y usted qué cree, Carlito? Que hay que cortar la ruta, le cortela, me dice. Because when you block the roads, you affect tourism, transport, and international traffic with Chile as well. El 19 de junio, las cortamos definitivamente durante un día cuando comenzó el tratamiento de esta ley. Tardaron media hora en tratar la ley y se aprobó. Y bueno, se generó un festejo que ni cuando Argentina salió campeón del mundo. Era todo real. Esa fue la ley 7722. Lo que vino de ahí adelante han sido permanentes luchas permanentes embates en distintos frentes. Es una lucha entre David y Goliat. Pero sabemos que David ganó. And it's the reason I came to Alvear in 2009 and acquired this farm. And now we're just giving the first steps. It's definitely going to take a long time. It's a big farm of 130 hectares and we will slowly Populated, we're giving parcels of land of a quarter hectare uh, for them to be able to build an eco home. It can be an airship like we're building here or any other type of ecological uh, this house. This year alone, it's been about 100 volunteers coming through, and right now there's like seven or eight of us from different countries. And it's just going to continue to be like that, not only with the airship but with uh, everything else we are doing. And many of those volunteers might stay. We're offering land for free. I arrived here one year ago and uh, we started building the airship. And 
yeah, somehow I got stuck here and uh, now I'm starting to build my own house here. And I basically like the idea that living itself does not cost money. So I can grow my own food, I can build my own house, cover my living. And in the free time that I do have, uh, use these to, to do projects where projects of the heart. I didn't know a ton about the project before I came. I remember we walked in to the volunteer house and it was just a complete mess and everyone was like blasting the Beatles on their phones and playing cards and drinking wine and I was like this this is gonna work this will be fun <laughs> I say we, we make be the change when I see the world the official model of Ecosware. Sure, sure. It's an amazing experience meeting new people from all around the world with different cultures, different lives, different experiences. But here all this superficial just stays out. And just realize that we're not that different. You know the real essence of the person and this is good. But yeah, sometimes I'm feeling like the mom of the group. At the beginning, I was really rustic, you know, no privacy, middle of nowhere, one house, one living room, which is also the bathroom, which is also the bedroom, which is also the kitchen. So yeah, it, it was a little difficult. Sometimes it's complicated, but it's nice. It's a part of the style of life of Ecosur, so I like. Uh, so we do a variety of things. Huh? Well, I've worked a lot with Kincha. Kincha is a mixture of clay and cow shit <laughs> um, and then you put some hay in it and it's really good for building and apparently it's used in most bio construction we we got to make some yesterday and it was fun we got to put a bunch of the manure in a giant pit and then get some clay and then we mixed it all together with our feet so i've never like stomped knee deep in cow manure before um, barefoot, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. The thing I was the most involved in was uh, uh, planning um, a landscape design around the Earthship. We spent a lot of time working on uh, clearing a field around the Earthship, uh, cutting the wood, burning the wood, collecting the ashes from that burning, and um, spreading it all on the field we cleared uh, so that we can actually uh, do the, the landscape design and be able to grow fruits, crops, vegetables, herbs, anything we want for the community and for, uh, and for every local uh, citizen from LVR. The long-term goal of becoming self-sufficient and needing less and less from the consuming civilization. We can actually make a, make a change in the world, so really do projects that we think can make a difference and do not sit in an office to just finance a living. We want to, to help change uh, in many ways but I think change should come from within and this project also should be helpful for, for the community of Alvear to be able to develop a, a new economy. And this project may help develop a green economy and ecotourism. We've been surprised uh, with the, the amount of support that we got from the government. Our project in our, in our department, in our town, is about uh, innovation, sustainable cities, and trying to promote uh, the environmental uh, conscience. So, uh, trying to protect our, our habitat is the main idea for our mayor and for we that are working with them. Eh, importante actuar y que haya toda una política unificada medioambiental y de desarrollo. Nosotros trabajamos un concepto que es el desarrollo local, que es poner en valor el territorio. Y a partir de poner en valor el territorio, de generar condiciones adecuadas de, de calidad de vida para, para la gente. To take care of our population and the, the following generation, ¿ok? Este es un territorio que hoy puede ser de nuevo un potencial atrayente de personas que deseen vivir eh, en un contexto de mucha tranquilidad de una vida más armoniosa, más tranquila. Moreover, the potential of this place is huge because almost any project you could have can be done. It could become something huge. It may be the starting point of the ecological revolution. We need people that uh, believe and want to spend time and uh, a lot of work to create a community 
it's not something that you can do in one, two years. But I think we can do. Yeah, I'm gonna leave now. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little sad for sure, but uh, the volunteers just come and go and, and the project is growing, so I can't wait to come back in a few years and see what it looks like. When we were trying to, to think about the international cooperation, we are not just thinking about the financial things and trying to promote projects with money. Trying to change the world, it's about this believe that you can change the world. We are proud of this kind of project to try to connect people from all the world with us. So welcome and come back. Yeah.